We are the youth. We have created mm. what football is at college. What football is. Let's see the soul. It's Cos Finger Baby. I'm trying to find out, like, bro, like, if this is even real life, bro, I was trying to, like, figure this shit out. I'm like, bro, Mario over here just gooning, zooming through the, um, 2025 recruiting class, bro. All dogs, too. This shit is crazy to me. Like, I expected this, you know what I mean? When he got hired, I wasn't trying to, like, be a homer and shit, because when... Manny Diaz got hired day one. I was like, yo, fire his ass. Like, on some real shit. If y'all follow me and y'all know me, y'all know. Y'all know me, man. Like, I, I'm going to keep it 100. So, you had a lot of Florida fans when we hired Mario. Say, oh, he ain't going to do nothing. This, this, that, and the third. And I wasn't trying to be a homo when I responded. Like, bro, he's brought into bringing talent. Like, he's that dude. Like, he's going to your block, dying, rolling the window down no tents and taking who he want i got you homie so like it wasn't like me trying to like defend what miami was doing it was just keeping it 100 bro saban said it himself like dude's relentless as fuck bro he the type you know what i'm saying like if a crew go to sleep and that motherfucker in the closet how many times do i have to tell you there's nothing in our closet yeah. Just waiting, waiting for you to sign on the dotted line to play for Miami. He ain't playing around, bro. Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, your mom make you breakfast. You go outside, that motherfucker fixing your tire. How you doing there? All right, hold on one sec. Or checking the oil on your car. <laughs> Yo, dead ass. He one of those, bro. But the thing is, it's not even only about like being relentless 24 7 on the recruiting show you had to have some sort of charisma you got to be on some chill shit behind closed doors it's the thing, same thing i say about nick saban like everybody say yo he he a dick or whatever like he a scumbag this that and the third that's all you hear but it's because he wins it's like people that just hate like winners like floyd mayweather people don't like floyd mayweather people don't like tank davis you know what I'm saying? Dudes that are nasty, they always have the biggest haters. You feel me? So, with Nick Saban, I always say, yo, he had to be cool as shit, like, when the cameras was off. Because kids are not going to go play for you if they don't feel comfortable around you. Even if you got a good position coach. Because the head coach calls the shots. So, Mario has to develop a relationship with mom and pops. And I all that shit, even if it wasn't around, he would be doing the same thing. But people are going to talk about NIL because Miami can never be successful on a fair playing field, you know, like an even playing field. They always got to tarnish our rep or some shit, like if we doing something bad or something. It never could be like, yo, this dude could recruit. You know what I'm saying? Rival fans is all about, oh, they dropping bags. L excuses, right hand on the Bible. God can strike me down if I'm lying. That motherfucker's cheating. Take my word. Yeah, we dropping bags. Everybody's dropping bags. And everybody dropped bags before NIL. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you have to be able to drop a bag because everybody's going to match a bag. And you got to be able to drop a bag and he still got to be comfortable as fuck with the coach. And he has to recruit mom and pops. That's how you get people, bro. You got to recruit mom and pops. Mom and pops sending their kid to you, man. I ain't sending my I ain't sending my kid if he a five star. I love Miami. But if Manny Diaz is coaching and he comes to my living room talking about... Fucking <laughs> Like Sylvester, like fucking the cat from um, Warner Brothers, bro. Whatever the fuck. Looney Tunes, bro. I thought I thought pooty tat like he he gonna come with me with that shit and I feel like it's fake. I ain't fucking with you. I ain't sending my kid there, bro. It's just, it is what it is. So people gotta realize like whatever Mario is doing, Mario is elite at it. Yo, we got stubs, bro. This dude covers ground. If you see Steve O's um breakdown, bro, 
Steve will get it in, you know, pause. But like we haven't had a safety like this in a minute, bro. People are gonna say he faster than Cam Kitchens. Yo, I remember like I it was probably two, three weeks ago watching Stubbs film and I saw that pick where he picks the slant off, but he comes from all the way from center field, bro. Like I haven't seen some shit like that. I don't even know, bro. Like I, I, I could just shut that shit off right there. I shut it off. If he was like five ten or like a buck seventy doing that, I'd be like, oh, it's a pretty good prospect. You know what I mean? Four star, he pretty good. But they be like, yo, six two one ninety doing that. I'm like, bro, that's a five star player. That's a five star safety. Period. End of story. So we got him and we got the center today. A low for Thule. I don't know how to say his name, but I'm not good with them poly names and shit. I have no idea, bro. So if I put your name, my bad, my boy. Um, DJ Pickett, I ain't even worried about that. Like, I'm confident he gonna be a king at the end of the day. I don't care if he repping Oregon, whack ass Oregon, like with 400 uniforms and shit, riding that Nike shit, trash. Ain't nothing to do out there, bro. They know for having man uniforms and a forest on their fucking on their basketball court, like that ass. Like that's all that's out there is trees. You know what I'm saying? It's just trees out there. Like, you got to be like a hacksaw Jim Duggan type nigga to be living over there. So, I, I wouldn't go there. You know what I mean? But I got to give props. Landing is an elite recruiter. Was probably supposed to be our defense coordinator. But Oregon knows how to hire. I'm not going to cap. And Mario left it good. The program in good shape where Landing could take over and take that shit to the next level. So, they did a good job hiring. I ain't going to cap. But fuck them dudes, yo. That ass. So, we got Gator Tears. I'm working on something with Gator Tears. I'm working on something with FSU Tears. That shit takes a while. That shit ain't easy, bro. But I'm mad excited, man. Darion Coleman, quick release. Looks the part, man. 26 quarterback. We got that shit in the books. And we got um Gavin Nix, bro. Gavin Nix looks pretty good, man. Like, all these dudes look like they could close on a ball, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And it's smart the way we're recruiting. We fixed the D-line. We went after linebackers. Now we're going after the secondary. And then all these dudes, they're going to grow up together and build together. They're going to be, man, bro, Miami's D going to be booming, bro. And then on top of that, the O-line, the O-line going to be eating both straight ragdolling dudes. And then we stacking running backs as well. Wide receiver, we got to get, we got to get on the books, but I think that's going to be late. Um, if not, we got a problem. If we're going to close this year on some wide receivers, we're going to have a problem there. I'm going to be bitching, and I'm going to be straight up. I don't hold no punches. You know what I'm saying? So, we got um, Max Buchanan as well, bro. We got a center. We got one of the top interior guys. Tackles, we good. I'm hoping to see Markel Bell this year. I think that dude's going to be a first-round pick. Um, I think Artavius Jones is going to be a first-round pick. I cannot wait. I cannot fucking wait, bro. We, Florida, they recruit like we used to recruit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll get a guy here and there and shit or a transfer. So, like, that to me, their roster is unstable. Um, is it going to be a tough game? It possibly could be a tough game in week one because Mertz, they're going to try to go underneath. I feel like they're going to throw underneath or try to take a deep shot early to make it look like they're not going underneath. But Mertz is pretty decent underneath. But I think our D-line going to be too much for their O-line. I think our O-line going to be too much for their D-line. And then I, eventually, we just going to pull away. Can't wait, bro. Like, subscribe, share. All about the you, man. Y'all already know. King Gang, let's get it. We beating the shit out of four. Y'all already know, man. We are the you. We have created what football is and talk. Hey, Reed. The you, Sam Morgan. The you, Kelly Winslow. The you, Montreal Road. The you, Eddie Vang. The you, the you, the you, the you, the you. Where's McGahee? The you already know. University of Miami.